Hello and good morning. Good morning. From rainy, hilly, coldy Scotland. Very nippy today. We are leaving campsites. We certainly are. Best services in the world here. Sands, yeah. wherever we are. Sands Caravan and Camping. Brilliant services. Thoroughly enjoyed the uh, the actual campsite itself. We never got to experience the um, cafe and everything like that. But hey yo. A bit of a storm last night, didn't we? We did. That was horrendous. The wind, the hailstone. We didn't even know it was hailstone. Yep, we're on. Um, off we go. Right, so we've just coming up to a hill to the bins here before we leave. A little bit of smoke. It definitely was coming from the exhaust that time. Well, you'll probably see it now when I set yeah. off. Yeah. But we it think it's hill. just... We're hoping it's something and nothing. Yeah, we're going to hope it's not going to be any blacker, so to say. It was a lot of smoke, but not quite like the other day. I think it's because I just went over a little bit of grass and a little bit of water got on the exhaust, that's all. I think it was going up the hill. but So the lads now are going to follow us anyway, just to be on the safe side. Right, anyway, we're heading off to somewhere quite cool this morning. <clears throat> in Verui Garden, I think it's called. Yes. And we might see eagles and otters. That's my plan. That would be cool. Right, I need to keep an eye on this. So far, so good. <laughs> yep, we're smoking again. I mean, that's not anything to worry about at the moment no but because what we went through the other day we just got to be cautious but right let's go do this yeah you won't be able to see this but we've got the snow coming in on the tops of the mountains over there Are we do snow anytime snow uh soon no, it's gonna <laughs> warm up after today a little bit it is so i am here all on my own because we got about this far away from van and Mazzy says have you definitely put alarm on checked it got to this point have you definitely locked the door went back checked it carried on walking right up there she says have you got the camera I says that's the only thing I asked you, asked you to bring the camera and she forgot you so here we are in Verui so can't overnight here three pound to park free to members uh, we're members so it all depends JP and Sammy might be coming in it all depends on whether the Ravens allowed in if not they're not coming no idea what to expect here we don't know if it's gonna be big or, or what but I just got excited seeing that it says look out for golden eagles and otters right they're not coming with us because they're not part of the proper group of national trusters like us it's too much money for, it's yeah, 15 it quid is. each plus three pound for parking that's 33, 33 quid. quid it's silly i think yeah. i think the idea of the prices being so high is they want you to be a member yeah and we are members so let's go enjoy ourselves this way Okay, <laughs> let's go this way. Buy one. What, buy a tree? No, because I think you can buy these and have your name added to it. I think they're more for in memory of people, Mazzy. Oh, are they? I think so. It's like a big wind chime, look. Don't obviously want to make too much noise. Yeah, That's I don't think beautiful. we've been here before. It don't seem familiar, does it? Mm. It's very beautiful so oh look at this look at bark on that how beautiful right let's do this so it was a a rich man and his daughter or something um he found out this was a microclimate and it got trees and plants from all over the world and brought them here and they're all growing like the last place we went to really wasn't it got a drastic Jurassic area and yeah all different plants from different countries 
Even soil from Ireland. Yeah, this because is how rich soil, it was. <laughs> yeah, the soil here wasn't enough to make vegetables grow and stuff like that. I, I don't know. But looking forward to this. Yeah. As long as it's not up here, eh? <laughs> so these amazing barks are eucalyptus trees. So do they smell? I don't know. I'm not smelling anything. Rub my nail into it. No, I'm not getting you. No, I'm not getting it, Mazzy. South Africa. Yeah, wow. Yeah. So it's going to show us what he's got from all around the world. So all these plants come from South Africa. Yeah. And this has drawn us both to it. It's, it's like a carpet. <laughs> It's like a mossy, alpine type thing. Actually though, it's very soft. You could lay on it. Well, that's my small nail. The leaves on that are just microscopic. And it just makes a wonderful carpet. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, look, look at the way it drapes over the wall there. Yeah, look at it. Wow! <laughs> Looks like it's it? plastic. This is a different one. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> There was going to be some colour, and she's—I wasn't expecting to see much colour today. Yeah, at this time of year. Yeah, so that's pretty. Ooh. What? It's nearly fell down. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So we're in the walled garden. Are there beehives? What other wormeries? Open the door and look oh, inside. No. Oh, Mazze, you love worms. No, no. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. No, okay, there is worms in there, but I think it needs building up more before you get a really good vision of what it's going to look like. But how cool. So they're clearly making that and then they'll use that as compost. The other ones I don't think you can open. Why would they do that? Oh, to make compost. Yeah. We even got sweet peas in flour. How do you have sweet peas in flour at this time of year? Pears. Yeah, chunky ones. Look at that. They actually look nice. Big cut in it. Do you know I don't think they are pears though, are they? They're the pears. The of them don't look. They're definitely pears. It's, it, yeah, Sidonia oblonga. Look, somebody's actually ate one in front of the core <laughs> An apple tree here. Some beauties. Yes. Even sunflowers are still there. Yeah, and look at colour of them. They're like a pale yellow. That's amazing. She did say they still produce um, the, the fruit and veg here and use it, I think, up in the cafe. Yeah, what well, she said. that'll be rhubarb under there. Look at these big thistly things. Apples. I love looking round veg and fruit gardens. Look at these things. I've seen something like that before, but not proper black ones. I don't know what they're called. Yeah. I'm sure my mother used to have a plant with those kind of things on it as a house plant. Did she? I don't know. <laughs> Is it usually an indoor plant? I don't know. These sunflowers look, how are they looking so nice at this time of year? Because it's a microclimate, Mazzy. I've never really understood this microclimate thing because it's still freezing. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it's just the way it's walled in and it tries and keeps as much. I, I don't know, it keeps the heat in, I suppose. Wow. How many apples are on that? Blimey! 
Look at that! Wow! Massive! Is it an eagle? It is. It's chasing a bird. It is chasing it is. a bird. Right, listen, listen. Did you hear that? So I'm guessing that is an eagle. The call is I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll get my app out, Mazzy. Yeah. Quick. Right, we panicked then. Why? I was trying to film the it must have been an eagle. I um I think it I think it definitely was. Trying to film it and then I realised I was filming it upside down, so whether I can Flip turn that clip. clip I don't know. <laughs> Then we were trying to get my app out to listen to it, it was going um, But it didn't pick it up in time Mazzy got a shot of it so we'll have to try and zoom in later and say exactly what it is The reason we're excited is because One of the things you can see here are golden eagles And sea eagles if you're very lucky But personally I'd rather see a golden eagle Wow yeah Look at that Oh, I didn't know it had a flower inside. Oh, that's nice. Out of all the gardens we've been to on this trip, this is the most exotic so far. Definitely. So there's the big house. Looks beautiful. So we're off up to America now. Are we? <laughs> America's up here. Oh, cool. Oh, look at this robin on this sign, look. They're chubby little ones, yeah, aren't they? Chubby robins around here. Well fed. Loving this. Look at this tree, babe. America. The way it's just covered in all that moss. Oh, the lichen. Yeah, the like lichen, lichen. Oh, it's beautiful. Actually, got a lot of character. Very nice. Oh, here we are, America. Welcome to America. Find some poison ivy. Oh, don't you be touching it. Yeah, so unusual. Kind of remind me of fireworks. I don't know if they're meant to be that colour or there's just flowers come off them. Yeah, very nice actually. So we're heading into the bamboozlum. Yeah, the bamboo is one. Did you know bamboo is one of the fastest growing plants in the world? Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that actually. I would have thought it could have taken years. And then start new every day. Oh, that's a pretty colour tree there, isn't it? Rhododendron. Lots of naturists here today with their cameras, isn't there, darling? What's of what? Naturist. Oh, that's got to be Jurassic. She wasn't a naturist. She was. She had a camera. She's... She had a clothes on, Mazzy. <gasps> Eagle. There he is. <laughs> that was disappointing. So it was Golden Eagle wasn't an eagle. It was a buzzard. A common <laughs> buzzard. Don't Not mind. even a rare one. <laughs> one of them was following us van earlier on, about an hour ago. Yeah. I got really excited then. Oh, never mind. What? What? Tasmanian tree ferns. They're all over the place. Beautiful, isn't they? These were around <laughs> when dinosaurs were around. So we are in Jurassic area, are we? These came, they brought these over from Australia, I think they said. Yeah. At the reception. Growing well. It's amazing. Where are they from, sorry? Tasmania. That's what it's called. I think she said they got them in Australia somewhere. It's amazing how... I think... Sorry, I think Tasmania is in Australia, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Wow, look at this big tree down it's from here. from Japan. No, not that one. Not interested in that old scorny thing. Look at this one. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful the way the box just shedded off like that. Got a wart on its side, look. Interesting that is. It's called a cider gum. I do love my trees. I find them beautiful and fascinating. Cider gum. 
chew on that. That's a strange tree, isn't it? It's well black. See it? Just dark. Oh, nah, that yeah, the black one. <laughs> yeah. That's unusual. I've never seen anything like that, actually. Very beautiful. I don't know what this means, but Jubilee Walk sounds interesting. It's, it sounds like we're going up and high. This one is like all camouflagey, isn't it? Yeah. Like the colours of camouflage. It's hard to show on this camera. I'm sorry I keep showing all different trees. But I do like them. I've got people around here maintaining and sweeping up and stuff. So, place is well looked after. Yeah, it's actually quite a beautiful place. I'll tell you what. Yeah. It's not a bad place to be stuck here if you needed to wipe your bum. There's <laughs> loads of brilliant <laughs> leaves. <laughs> Toilet like tissue. Really big, proper thick one. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> now approaching um, the woodland area. So we might be able to see deer and stuff. So I'm reckoning there'll be deer in here. Oh, you reckon? Red squirrels, possibly. Oh, I caught Dan, uh, caught Dan watching one of his old videos today of Dave. Dave is a um, squirrel. <laughs> Do not you, honey? You were like, oh, I miss Dave. <laughs> We've just come across these mushrooms. They are like big, weird blobs, some of them. Yeah, some of them are mushroomy. <laughs> the funny thing is, if I can just give you that for a second. This is, look. It is very spongy. Yeah, look. Oh my god. Well, they did get a lot of this soil from Ireland, it'll be peaty. Um, Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> yeah, you hold that a moment. Yeah. Um, I need to go too. It's screenshot time. There was something in the news. White blobs have been washed up on the beaches in Canada, and no one knows what they are. Well, it, it looks like that. But it looks just like <laughs> them. <laughs> it does. It looks like this one in particular. Yeah, they're all over Canada on beaches, and they don't know. What are they knows made out of? No one knows. That's a manky one as well, babe. Look at that. That's unusual. I don't feel like that's a good one. I've never understood, and I keep saying this to you, don't I? Yeah. Why these gardening places don't have wild mushroom sections? Oh, so, yeah, because you can sort uh, of get bring, them going, can't bring you? Bring wild mushrooms here and yeah. make it into a massive mushroom plot. <sighs> Well, yeah, as long as they're not dangerous, because you do get people picking, don't you? <laughs> I wonder what these are. Uh, yeah. They seem to be all in blobs, don't they? Blobs of ten. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how one man can have so much land? Oh, wow. Gosh. They're big, whatever they are, aren't they? I've already been to the toilet today and I'm starting to wish I hadn't. Why? Oh, to try out your new toilet tissue. <laughs> Lots of graffiti on this tree, so this could be old or it could be new. I'd say could that's quite or new. It could be blue. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That one seemed new anyway. Coming down towards uh, is this a lock, darling? Is it? U E W E. So it sounds stupid. We're in one man's garden, but we're lost. <laughs> we're yeah. kind of a little bit lost. I know where we are now. Oh, you do. This is good. Look, you got all your birds out there, look, babe. There's the jetty, that's what I thought I saw, look. Yeah. Yay. So, hold on. C 
correct then. Who was right and who was wrong? We're about... No, I want to know who was right and who was wrong. We're about half a mile away from where we need to be. Right, where are we? Well, we're, we're here. <laughs> I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. Keep moving. Just took a few moments out, sat down, admiring the beautiful view. Come on, I want to see a pond. Yeah, let's get on with it now. <laughs> so there is one steep bit called, I think it's like something like the Devil's Heel or something. Devil's Elbow. That's the one. You're going to avoid that like the plague. Yeah. <laughs> so we haven't done like these walks now for some while have we and um definitely keeps you active and fit struggling yeah struggling a little bit today you can feel like how oh, we've lost the energy <laughs> tomorrow it's hopefully a, a circular waterfall walk yeah hopefully which is gonna be hard that's again. all yeah that's all dependent on um where we get to park up today which will be nice but yeah, if you can get out and do this once a once a week, definitely highly recommend though getting your actual passes. Uh, the um, what is it called? The the actual membership. Of Scotland. Yeah, definitely pays. So it's saying here it costs just over one million pounds to care for the Infiru gardens each year and storm Corrie has actually resulted in it being another hundred thousand on top of that a million pounds so where where does that go so all the, the trees all here in january and storm oh. Corrie knocked them all down wow i still would like to know where a million pound goes a year though wages <laughs> I don't know. So you'll see this stuff all over Scotland. And Dan was telling me a little trick with this the other day, weren't you? When you were doing your Scottish trip. Dan was pocketing it, uh, using it as like kin Kindle, weren't you? Kin Kindle? I used that for a few things. When it's really dry, Yeah. used it as Tinder. Oh, Tinder, yeah. <laughs> if you set the fire to it, it just goes whoosh, it's straight up. So you could get a fire going with it, but it was also good for pillows. I used to have one of oh. them little sacks, what yeah. you wind up, fill it with them, it made a nice pillow. Good idea. Wet Valley is what this is called. So this is two of the second of two ponds. The other one weren't really worth filming. This one's nice though. Look at the beautiful lilies. No, I mean, whether there's anything in it. Beautiful lilies there though. Devil's elbow. Back to the visitor centre. Some geese. How beautiful. Oh, this. Oh, it's beautiful. Something so calming. I love watching the geese go over. So, we're in the Japan section. <clears throat> Bit of a letdown. It's it, funny, isn't it? Japanese people are always mm. really small. Yeah. And all the plants in the Japanese section are really, really small. <laughs> I was expecting to see the big blossom trees, you know? I suppose it's the wrong time of the year for that anyway. So we're trying to head back. Now, although this place is big, don't get me wrong, it's not one of the biggest we've been to. Don't... It's the most exotic we've been yeah, to. Yeah, definitely the most exotic, and they've split it up into a lot more sections, like, like teddy got, bear's garden in japan and, yeah but compared to some of them it's got a really good there's feel. a lot more plants here isn't there rather than just a, a woodland walk so to say oh that's beautiful that a giant redwood western red cedar 
A cedarwood, very nice. So these are your giant redwoods you get in America. Oh, lovely. Which you planted in about 1980 something from seed. Here's some more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At the back of the house. So usually your ticket will be entitled to actually go round the house? I'm not sure on that. Oh, you're not sure? It just says it doesn't include the house. I don't know if you can normally. Oh. Well, it might be just why it's called something gardens then, mightn't it? Maybe the house isn't involved. So this will be their lovely front garden. <laughs> God, look how beautiful. Oh, it's lovely, look. And they're out on the lock here. All the beautiful colour as well. Oh, look at that tree, babe. You'd have a lot of fun playing in that as a kid, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, lovely little area down there. Are we going down or... No. I'll just try and film it then. <laughs> lovely little seating areas. That's beautiful. Look at the way that's kind of twisted and knotted coming up there. It's another eucalyptus, I think. Is it? Little Heidi out. Dan just took a lovely picture of um Oh yeah. If a heron down there, so have you noticed the New Zealand flax? What uh what reminds me of Felina pots. New Zealand flax. The Maori use this. For what? Used to make uh, bags, mats, clothes, oh, really? fishing nets, sails. Torches, ropes, baskets, sandals, and even roofs for the houses. Wow. Hmm. That's, just, that's a eco friendly, isn't it? So we just saw a sign for this eucalyptus tree. I can never smell it though. Did it say something about the bark? Just rub your hand on the bark. Nothing. No? Or is it the leaves? Maybe you're supposed to sort of crush them up in your fingers. Or oh, maybe I've got Covid. Why would you have Covid? I can't smell it. <laughs> Welcome in the world since 1863. That's it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the staff in there were lovely. Oh, yeah. Really, really nice, nice staff. Yeah. Lovely good shop in there as well. We've got a cafe and stuff over here. Massive cafe. Um, I think that's the visitor centre as well though, isn't it? I don't know. I think so. Don't know. So we had a wonderful time anyway. Yeah, that were a good one. Um, yeah. You know, as a video for you guys, unless you're interested in gardens and plants, yeah. probably not the best. But it's what we did today. We and enjoyed, we enjoyed it. it. Yeah. <laughs> and out of all the Scottish gardens we've been to, I think that's my favourite because it wasn't too hilly. It was more beautiful with what with our surroundings, with the plants and stuff, which I, was really interesting. Could have done with more maybe ornaments. A few statues. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Better height ponds. of summer though. Height of summer. I mean, today. I mean, we've got a spectacular few of them, didn't we? Yeah. Lots of colour, but come summer, yeah. Yeah, I amazing. should imagine the flowers in there look incredible. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, back yeah. to the van. You might notice there's no JP. He's gone on ahead to check out the next park up and see if it's going to be okay. So at this point, I think we're going to wrap this one up. We had a choice of a few overnight spots today. Uh, one wasn't suitable, the other one... Wasn't suitable. So we we're going to the third location now. Now that's not guaranteed either. <laughs> so fingers crossed we can get in there tonight and have a good day around there so should we wrap this one up and i hope you enjoyed today as much as we have because i finally enjoyed that it did me the world of good today do you want to say goodbye to everybody darling not really yeah he's concentrating because we've got also got the fan smoke thing to keep an eye on as well now we don't have jp and sammy following us so we've got over an hour's drive so we'll see you tomorrow for more adventures from the travel trolls. Punch them, Mazzy, punch them. Punch them, shall I? Punch them. Good lass. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I'll leave that to you next time.